Hey everyone, we're jumping back into the C10 project and today we're showing you how to make custom parts from concept to install that look like they came from a catalog. Let's jump in. So my old compressors have ceased to compress air anymore and need to be replaced. I bought some new ones and want to mount them up nicely, so I'll be creating compressor mounts. Starting off, I take key measurements of the mounting holes already in the frame, the new compressor's mounting holes, and height requirements. I want this to look as clean and like a factory part as possible, so I plan to cut it from a single sheet of metal. With that in mind, I write down the measurements and come up with a rough design. I then transfer the design to cardboard and make a prototype. This actually helped me more than I thought because it allowed me to see how the new compressor fit on the mount and how much space it took up under the bed. Confident with my plan, I download and open Fusion 360 to create a version to be cut on our CNC plasma table. This was my first time ever using the program, and with a couple tutorials, I figured out how to get going within a half hour or so. It helps that my design is essentially a collection of squares and triangles. I preview the cut path to check my work. Then download and load our free post processor file into Fusion. You can find this on the Eastwood website on our CNC Plasma table page. Then save my CNC file to a flash drive. We have this prototype 2x2 plasma table currently being tested in R&D, which is perfect for this job. So I load in the file and let it rip. With the mounts cut out, the next stop is to bend them from sheet metal into the correct shape. I head over to the electro brake and bend the base 90 degrees from the back. Then, swapping over to the individual fingers, we can bend the side braces into position. Before I can weld the braces into the back, I knock off the slag the plasma cutter left behind. This helps make everything look nice, but more importantly, it gives us good clean metal to weld to. These are created from 16 gauge mild steel. My settings on the MP200i ended up being dialed in at 15.8 volts and 120 inches per minute. So I learned how to weld specifically on body panels using a stitch method. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm positive there are multiple ways to go about this. This got me the desired result and helped to control the heat and prevent warping. Do whatever method you prefer. Now that the mounts are able to hold the compressors, I can align them with the holes in the frame and mock them up before moving to powder coat. This is pretty straightforward. The only extra note I have is to step drill. Use a small pilot hole and then move up to your final size. I like doing this because it keeps the drill from walking. You can check your centered with the small hole and makes your bits last longer. I also add a couple holes that line up with factory ones already in the frame for potential use later. I check all my work by doing a full mock-up and bolting everything together the way it will be when I'm finished. With everything looking good, I move into powder coat. For powder coat prep, I scuff the surface with a roll-lock disc, 80 grit sandpaper in the corners, then wipe down with pre-painting prep, and throw both mounts in the oven to pre-bake and get any remaining contaminants out. Sticking with the factory theme, I opt for silver vein powder. I've gotten a couple aftermarket parts like this, and I'm always pretty happy with how it looks. As with any item you're powder coating, to avoid Faraday cage effect, start with tight corners first before moving to big flat spots. That's the inside corners on these mounts. Once both mounts are completely coated, we roll into the 400 degree oven. I check on it after five minutes to look for flow out, where the powder begins to look glossy, and then set the timer for 20 minutes. Finally, I can pull these things out and take a close look at all the work leading up to this point. Getting them on the table, I think the attention to detail has really paid off. These look like something I would have purchased online, so I'm super stoked. Practically speaking, they also got put through their paces this past weekend as I took the truck out to a show for the first time in years. And both the compressors and mounts worked great. All right, so obviously we have lots of cool tools to play with here at Eastwood, and you might not have all of that available at home, but that's okay. There are lots of ways to go about these projects. I really wanted to learn how to use Fusion 360 and cut factory style parts for this project but you can also cut these out with a plasma torch or a cutoff wheel. For bending, you could use the hydraulic press brake and a bench vise to get similar results. Finally, powder coating can be done in a designated old home oven for small parts like these. But the important thing is the process and taking your time from design through an iteration or two and top coating. You can end up with great results at home or in your shop too. 
And if you want to tackle projects like these, we've got you covered. Just head over to eastwood.com.